Now for the top story tonight, reaction. Joining us from Boynton Beach, Florida, Dr. Jonathan Schanzer from the Foundation for Defense of Democracies. And from Washington, Simon Rosenberg, president of NDN, a center-left think tank. So where am I going wrong here, Mr. Rosenberg? Well, first of all, I don't think the president has dithered. We've had thousands of airstrikes. There are thousands of American troops in Iraq. There's a coalition of 60 countries that are working together to go after and degrade ISIS, as the president says. And now what he's going to do is he's going to do, Bill, what you want. He's going to do more. And what he's doing now is he's asked Congress to join him to show the resolve that the president of the United States is together with our Congress, unified towards a new strategy that will carry us forward for the next three years. And I, I don't I think even think that I don't think that's going to pass. But let me just challenge a couple yeah. of your remarks. You say the president has yeah. not dithered. OK, um, how does a terror organization conquer thousands of miles of territory in two nations, Syria and Iraq? unopposed. How does that happen if you're not dithering? Now, well, after they conquered the thousands, after they're occupying Mosul and other big towns, after they're executing thousands of civilians, raping women, abusing little girls, yes, then finally he said, we'll use air power. But on his watch, and I'm sure you know this, Mr. Rosenberg, on his yeah. watch, ISIS was allowed to go unchecked for probably seven or eight months. Go ahead. These are sovereign nations, uh, both Syria and uh, Iraq. Uh, I think that the president did not want to start a third Iraq war and reinvade a country that we've already. Okay, and that's his decision. Right, that's his decision. But look what has happened by that decision. Right, but these are sovereign nations. We were invited in by the Iraqi government. We are now in Iraq with troops and airstrikes every day, Uh, and now we're going to show the world that there's a unified. United States Congress and the president, I hope, will be able to pass something together well, we're gonna, to show we're that we have invest- a common strategy. We're actually investigating, and we'll have it with Charles Krauthammer. Yeah. That's not, it's not what you would think it is, this uh, War Act of Congress. All right, let's go uh, to you, Mr. Shanzer. Um, my, my dilemma here is to define for the American people what should be done, not just a carp on President Obama. That gets us nowhere. But when I saw this poll that only, what is it, 19% of registered voters, that cuts across everywhere, Mr. Rosenberg, say that he's doing well in the ISIS thing, the American people get it. But you know who doesn't get it? President Obama. Why? Well, Bill, uh, I think one of the reasons why is the president determined even before ISIS came into existence that he wasn't going to go to war with it. He determined up front that he was going to get us out of all the old wars, prevent us from getting into new ones. And so he has just been reticent not only to get back into Iraq or to wade into Syria, but he just didn't want to open up any new fronts. And so that has been, I think, uh, what has been uh, hindering him from the start. He's ambivalent about the whole thing. He doesn't want to call it militant Islam. He calls it violent extremism. He has an overall approach that is reticent and that is not how you win wars and it's ultimately what is bringing him down. But he himself believes his strategy is going to defeat ISIS. Would you concede that? I'm not sure that he is himself convinced. I mean, that's why you know, he continues really, to talk about That's yeah. what Axelrod said. That's what they all say. He's convinced, and I don't believe for a second this 60-nation coalition is anything other than a paper play. They're not doing anything. But one more question for you, Mr. Shanzer. I'm going to give you the last word, Mr. Rosenberg. Isn't it true that President Bush may have overreacted to the terror threat by inviting Iraq in particular, and that is giving President Obama some cover for underreacting to it. Well, look, I mean, I think there's been a real debate about this. And of course, I think when you look at the way that the United States conducted the war in Iraq, it led to a mess. I think it's undeniable now that it was a mess. Uh, And people point to that overreaction. Overreaction. uh, And that's what President Obama uses all day long and in every way, almost every speech. Right. But now, Bill, if you look at the number of dead, for example, in Syria by underreacting, looking at that 210,000 people that have been killed thus far and the rise of ISIS through the underreaction of, uh, of President Obama, I think we now come to the conclusion that the, that the American people need to be governed on foreign policy from the middle. And that's what we're looking for right now. It's what I'll look for in 2016, to say the least. OK. Uh, last question, Mr. Rosenberg. You know, you have this sure. Boko Haram crew in Africa. They're 
they're running wild, uh, murdering people every single day. Uh, you have ISIS running wild in uh, the two theaters in Syria and Iraq. You have Yemen, uh, th the Marines had to leave all their weapons and get out of there. That's out of control. You have the Taliban and Al-Qaeda still operating uh, in theaters all over the place. You can't say that the Obama administration has an effective anti-terrorist strategy. You can't. I think the most important thing we can do going forward, Bill, is that we've got to focus on ISIS. They are the greatest threat. I think the president is bringing, is asking Congress to join him and asking the Republicans. He's going to the Republican Party and saying, this is my plan. What do you want to do? Let's have a debate. Right. Let's do this together. That's what I, I think it's showing but let's great see, deference let's to the Republicans. See what, right. Not tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going to say it again. Yeah. We are yep. going to tell you what exactly the plan right. is so that Americans can know whether they think it's good or bad. Gentlemen, good debate. Thank you.